So this is my Tetris arcade. So you can play with the buttons, or you can use serial commands on the computer through a serial program like Putty. And you can play it. Uh, some of the blocks, um, this is a uni project, the code. So some of the blocks are like preset, so I couldn't remove them, otherwise I'd lose marks. But um, I made a custom PCB for it. And um, the enclosure. So it's got a mute button as well. So you don't hear that. Uh, but I like sound effects. Um, the counter is for uh, counting rows that you've completed. So I'll just complete one. Um, you can see it's sort of gone up to two. Some of the IO pins on the Mac controller are a little bit busted. Um, so if I try and complete a game, uh, you can see it's got EEPROM high scores as well. The, um, the SPR screen was provided uh, with the Unicourse, um, so it's like a, it's got a custom library that the coordinator wrote, but basically um, the code was pretty bare bones, so it had like functionality for like two of the buttons. Um, and playing a little bit of a game loop, but we had to add like completing rows, scores, um, left and right, sound effects. Uh, it's got functionality for a joystick. Um, it's not on there at the moment, it's one of those PSP joysticks from Out of Fruit, and they're really difficult to solder, so I've left it off at the moment. But yeah, so I catted up the um, PCB um, and got that made with OSH Park, and then um, yeah, I also added, um, made this cool little. Tetris arcade game case. So I'll just go and lose. Um, you can see I've got a high score, so you can type your initials and that gets added. Um, most of the memory, I've just uploaded the code, so it's all uh, got nothing basically stored, which is why all the high scores look pretty bad. Um, so, yeah, so this is the PCB up close. Uh, most of the parts are surface mount, so I could save some space and the back of it. Um, you can see it's running off an AT Mega 324A, uh, and there's the speaker on the back and the FDI, FTDI chip. So yeah.